Coming up next, Cormac tries to turn on the charm, Misty and Amit duke it out. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, come on. And Jeff has some explaining to do. You got lipstick on your face, brother. Ooh, my bad. When Dating in the Dark continues. As the singles continue dating, they soon realize that some matches were never meant to be. What do you like to do for fun? Oh God, I do a lot of things. I snowboard a lot. I'm currently training for a tri or no tri a marathon. I go kayaking a lot, just the way it gets better. I surf a lot. The only shooting a ball into a little thing I'm good at is beer pong. So what, um, what, what else? Talk to me. <laughs> 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 I've done everything. I've done company trips, company meetings. Um, I'm actually doing a wedding next month. Oh God, I would like be stressed out and be like, okay, oh, no. all these little. Doesn't bother me. I'm very focused. Hello, ladies. Hey, Ross. Hi. Well, ladies, today is a very special day. Today is a time in the experiment where we let you know who your most compatible partner should be. Now, this is all based on your pre-interviews, uh, the questionnaires you filled out before arriving, and the opinions of experts. We're not only gonna give you who your most compatible partner should be, but also, we're gonna give you a compatibility score to let you know how good of a match you are with this person. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, right, see y'all later. Thank you. Kelly. <gasps> Yay! No way. Oh. Wow, nice. dude, that's a pretty no good way. match. 83%. That's pretty high. Really high. 83%. Oh, whatever. Get over here. Okay, it's my Misty. Turn. Hey, Misty. Hey, Misty. Hey, Misty. Hey, Misty. Hey, Misty. Hey, Misty. No way. <laughs> See? I called it. I told you. No what way. is it? Oh, 72%. Okay. They so, do. hmm. Who's Shannon? I don't know. <laughs> nice. nice. I was so right. 75. Oh. She's like the highest. <laughs> like, oh my god, lovebirds. <laughs> That's like a perfect match made in heaven. <laughs> I definitely wanted to impress Shannon. I brought in a dessert, had some strawberries, some apples. This was the time when I had to show her that I was capable of being a little bit romantic. Would you mind if I feed it to you? Oh, no, not at all. Here, where's your hand? It's right here. OK. So we'll help each other? Mm, OK. I know mean, that. And it's caramel-filled chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, my god. So far, Jeff's been really sweet, and the care that he put into making that little plate for me, that was really cute, and that shows a lot, that he's probably a romantic guy, too. After I came out of the first date, I totally felt like it went really well. Oh my god, that's so cute! You know, <laughs> I feel, if you can see me right now, I'd that's, be blushing. Oh, that's adorable. I even cut myself because I was so nervous <gasps> making no! it. Yeah, no! Is this your Band-Aid? It is. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> I told I'm you. I'm gonna give it a kiss. Thank you. There. Thank How's you. that? Is that better? It's a little bit better. Does it feel better now? It's a little bit. When Shannon kissed my finger, it definitely told me that she cared. I'm definitely starting to fall for her. I have a special surprise for when you see yourself when you go back into your room. Do you? Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Uh, how did it go? It went pretty well. Um, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> you got lipstick on your face, brother. Do I? Yeah. Right. Ooh, my bad. <laughs> Though, when I was young getting picked on, people judged me. And when I go into these dates, I'm not judging the person. It's based on the vibe that I get, the date that we're having. Knowing that Missy is more compatible to me right now, I think there might be some kind of a connection going on. <laughs> What's up, Misty? What do you have there? It's a hula hoop. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm down with the hula hoop. We can do that. Um, for our date, I decided to bring in a hula hoop. Two, three. We did the little hula hoop and see who can keep it up the most. And then he gave me a little boxing lesson. Now let's see what happens if I punch you. <laughs> May not look like it, but I can throw some punches. So I had to Good. lighten it up a little bit. Go, jab, jab, come on. That is something that's sexy. You know, boxing, ultimate fighting, kind of a man's sport turns me on. So what do you think, Miss um, Compatible to a meet? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I think um, pretty right on, obviously, because of the experts. <laughs> the experts say that we should be together? There's a lot of things I like about him. He has great energy, he's funny, and I enjoy hanging out with him. Right, right, right here. Kiss. <laughs> Bye. Whoa! Oops! <laughs> We're good. <laughs> On my date with Kelly, I wanted to bring in my guitar and kind of share with her a song that I wrote. Music is an important part of me of kind of exposing myself and exp you know putting myself out there. It's a fire that he keeps in wet down tights. He's 
Just wishing someone would say, hey, hey, you're gonna get it right this time. And I'll be back in a little while. Yay! <laughs> of course there's something about a guy who plays guitar, any musician for that matter. They can sing, play guitar. That's definitely sexy. I read a really interesting study the other day about how much information you can pass along with a kiss. So tell me about what kind of kisser you are. My own kissing style is, just, is pretty slow. Maybe that's like a part of my personality. I don't rush into things, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you kissing at? I don't know, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Had Cormac pushed it a little more, I probably might have kissed him, but um, I, was, I was glad he eased off and when the time is right. <laughs> How was your date? I contemplated kissing him. Oh! I actually thought about it. So you guys just talked? Did you yeah, he sang a, oh, you brought a campfire guitar? song. He brought his guitar in, oh my god. But yeah, definitely I'm excited more than I was before. Oh, oh high five, <laughs> high five. <laughs> Next. Oh, this could be the world's most awkward dance ever. Some dancing in the dark raises concerns. I think you're a dirty dancer. Jeff was dancing very close with me. That kind of intimidated me. And soon, the light will shine. I'm definitely trying to stay calm. The nerves are kicking in. I can definitely feel my heart going. Do looks matter? We're going to find out. When Dating in the Dark continues. What's up, fellas? Hey. hey. Well, it is time for your final dates. The fun part about this date is it's a little different. It's gonna be a theme date. A theme date? Gentlemen, put on your dancing shoes. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be cool. The theme is going to be dancing in the dark. So, when you get up to the dark room, there's gonna be some music, you'll have a chance to dance, you can teach some dance moves, learn some dance moves. It gives you a chance to spend some good quality time here on this last date. Thank All right? You. Okay, see y'all. For their final dates, Kelly and Cormac invited each other, as did Shannon and Jeff and Misty and Amit. It was a no-brainer that I should invite Shannon out on the final date. We had built up a pretty good connection in the past. I figured and I was hoping that Shannon would feel the same way. Can you show me your best dance moves? Oh, God. Actually, yeah. if I oh, learned how to do salsa, yeah. it would make my life. You want to learn salsa? Yeah. Music. That's good. Here, feel my legs and then so that you can know. So I step back with my right. Okay. And then like that. Forward with you? Yeah. yeah, here, hold on my hips. Dancing with Shannon, I felt pretty awkward. Just like the entire situation couldn't see her. And knowing Shannon was a professional dancer basically kind of threw me off as well. Woo! <laughs> 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 it's I'm, totally I'm not. I'm trying to hit you, but I can't Can see you hit me? I think you're a dirty dancer. You don't look a good Catholic girl. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Jeff was dancing very close with me, and I felt a little bit uncomfortable with that, and I told him I'm a good Catholic girl, which is mostly true. And I was hoping that he was gonna maybe back off, but he didn't, and that kind of intimidated me. I don't wanna push any boundaries, but would you maybe do a kiss goodbye? Or... Maybe a little one. A little? A very quick, <laughs> a very little one. That was two. <laughs> I can't help myself. Boys always pushing their boundaries. I'm really excited about the last date because it's going to be very interesting trying to dance in the dark. Amid says he can dance, and I'm a really good dancer, so I'm excited for our last date. <laughs> good. I've never experienced anything like this, liking someone without getting to see them. I feel the energy. There's good energy in the room when we're on a date. So this is our last date. I know. So what are you thinking? I don't know. I'm excited. You're excited? Finally see with the lights <laughs> on. Tomorrow. I know. When I was dancing with me, I noticed the height difference between us. You know, I tried to push it out of my head, but it just was always there. I'm just used to always being shorter than the guy. But as of now, our personalities mesh well and we get along great. So it's gonna be really interesting tomorrow to see what happens. All right. All right. Take care. I'm excited to go on my last date with Kelly. She seems like more of that soulful girl that I'm looking for. Hi. There's definitely a connection between Kelly and I. Okay, where you at? 
Oh, this could be the world's most awkward dance ever. Do we win that prize? <laughs> it might be, and I'm gonna try and twirl you. I'm gonna try and twirl you. There pretty much isn't anything I don't like about Cormac. He is a great guy. Are you excited for the reveal? Um, I'm really anxious. Yeah? <laughs> I would be really interested in kissing you. I will be honest with that. I, I definitely felt a connection with you. Where are you? Come here. I'm really anxious to see what Kelly looks like when the lights come on tomorrow. Am I gonna be pleasantly surprised or am I gonna be like repulsed? I just can guarantee that my jaw is gonna drop any way you slice it. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow. And I actually will this time. Yeah. I can see that. What's up, fellas? Hey, 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 what's going on, man? So guys, I'm sure as you've gotten to know these girls, you've probably gotten some sort of mental image of what you think they look like, right? Absolutely, yeah. Perfect, I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Jess Perna. He is a professional sketch artist. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jane Talbot. What you ladies are gonna do is you're gonna describe what you think the guy that you're the most interested in looks like. Now, the best part about it is we're gonna switch drawings. So you're gonna get to see what the guys oh think God. you look like and vice versa. Jane, they're all yours. Ladies, have fun. Who is this drawing going to go to? This is gonna go to Kelly. She's just really relaxed. Probably pretty tough to get a big expression out of her face. Cormac had a great smile. Basically, draw me as a man. <laughs> Misty. I think she's dark-skinned. And with Misty, I have a feeling that she might be African-American. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm anxious to see what she looks like. I do believe it means would be good looking. Shannon, very thin. She's definitely in great shape. He looks a little bit like Chris from NSYNC. <laughs> yeah, this is how I'm picturing Jeff. All right, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hey! If you'll collect those and hand them to me, I will trade you. Thank you very much. All right, gentlemen. There you go. All right, thank you. Enjoy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my. Oh, dear. I look like a Barbie doll. Do you think that this is blonde hair? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, man. He thinks I'm blonde? I think he might be a little disappointed. Oh, no. I say I look like a baller. That looks a little bit more, like, badass. I'm actually a little bit nervous because she kind of like tried to make me look like a badass, I guess. It's when not. Shannon sees me, I think she'll be quite a bit surprised. This is totally you. This is you. That's, That's totally that me. Is, oh, yes, that is you. Dude, I look like I should be like a football center. <laughs> Does this look anything like me? You have more hair. They think you're balding or something. The drawing was a little bit different than what I look like, but I'm not nervous because, again, it comes down to personality. So the looks shouldn't really matter. No. Wrong. Not me. We're all angry. <laughs> Sucks that this is what my personality looks like. No. She's very scary. She looks kind of smug. She looks pissed Your off. face is more longer. This she is looks like, like a yeah. bitch. I was really disappointed in the sketch that Cormac made for me. I don't care what I look like, dark hair, natty dreads, fat face. If my personality didn't come across as smiling, that's terrible. Coming up next. Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah. Tensions are high. Once the lights come on, I don't know what's gonna happen. When the participants finally come face to face in the light. I'm like, look it, oh <laughs> I'm shaking. When dating in the dark continues.